I write support the presidential speech to the nation, which was in compliance with Article 132 of our Constitution. And Madam Speaker, I have got two issues which I like this country to understand, coming from, stemming from the presidential speech. Number one, Madam Speaker, we need to appreciate that the Constitution 2010 came with an expanded government and therefore an expanded, an ex expanded uh, expenditure which was not matched by the generation of revenue. And therefore, the first two terms from 2010 to 2022, uh, when this constitution was being implemented, it meant that the government then had to borrow tremendously to ensure that they are able to cover the huge expenditure of running a bloated government to a tune of 10 trillion. But I'm speaker, the president addressed that issue very critically because he said very clearly, though the previous government had borrowed heavily to a tune of close to about 10 trillion, this country cannot afford to be continue borrowing because you cannot be able, number one, continue borrowing to support the consumption. And Madam Speaker, he also addressed the, the issue on what is the country doing to ensure that we do not go to the direction of Zimbabwe, direction of Zambia, direction of Ghana, direction of, of, of Greece, and even Sri Lanka, where those countries have defaulted on their national debt obligation and therefore, their rating in the international financial, financial uh, institutions have come down crumbling. And Madam Speaker, it's good to mention this, that if there is an existential danger of this country, is that our debt. And I think, Madam Speaker, the President has addressed that issue succinctly in the sense that we need, number one, to raise our own revenue. Number two, we need to be, have the sight of our debt in such a way that we are ready to pay our debts when they fall due. But on speaker, you find that the euro bond is falling due, and the president assured this country that that amount of money, the government is ready to pay that, that, that debt. Because the danger of not paying that debt, Madam Speaker, is that this country, it will lose its own sovereignty in the eyes of the financial institutions. Today, we are complaining about high taxation, but the consequence of defaulting in terms of paying, tax, pay, 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 paying the debt is that, number one, there will be spiral inflation, and number two, the, our, our shilling will be, will, will be highly dilapidated in terms of, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of value. And number four, Madam Speaker, in the eyes of international standards, the, this country will be, will be downgraded. And therefore, the fact that the press says, say, look, we need to ensure, number one, digitize our revenue, so at least there is no revenue leakage. And number two, ensure that our debts are paid at the right time. But as speaker, that is a, is, 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 a, is a step in the right direction. The second issue, Madam Speaker, is that the president addressed the issue of education. Education, Madam Speaker, is the equalizer between the rich and the poor. A country can only be able to progress if it has people or population which is well educated. And therefore, the fact that we are able to plug 600 billion in this financial year to support the education, the fact that we've been able to ensure that we have employed 56,000 new teachers and the TSC to educate our children, we are putting the right uh, steps in the right direction. Finally, Madam Speaker, it's about the food. We can talk about many things, Madam Speaker, but if this country is hungry, a hungry man is an angry man. And that issue that has been addressed by the, by, the, by the President, by making sure that we have cheap fertilizer for our people. Madam Speaker, finally, it's about the youth unemployment, which is a big problem in this country. And the fact that there's intervention on digitization, the EPZ, the, housing, the housing programs, which again is, is addressing the issue of employment, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise to support uh, the, uh, the President's speech. Uh, thank you very much.